Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and we are going to discuss today about uh, sequence and series. This is the lecture number 3. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 2 before watching part 3. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems uh, related to sequence and series. So, let us uh, start this uh, from exercise 9.2 and the question is given, the first question is find the sum of all odd, find the sum of all odd integers, odd integers from 1 to 1 to 2001, 1 to 2001, <coughs> how much sum? So, we can go ahead with the solutions by using the concept from conceptual approach, conceptual, conceptual approach, right. So, in conceptual approach, we can have 1 plus 3 odd, na? so 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 like this up to 2001, right. So, you know, uh, last term is 2001, what would be the, so nth term, last term that is nth term is 2001 and a is here 1 and d is 2. So, using the formula tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 2001. So, we can put here a is 1 and 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 that is 2001. So, clearly this is 1 plus 2n minus 2 is 2001 and therefore 2n is equal to 2002 because 1 minus 2 is minus 1, it will come this side, it will be plus 1 and n is equal to 1001. So, the sum is n is obtained and now we can have sum. So, required sum is n by 2 a plus l. This is the formula. So, we can put here 1001 divided by 2 and first term is 1 and last term is 2001. So, that will be 1001 into this is 2002 divided by 2 is 1001. So, 1001 into 1001 is 1001 whole square. That will be answer. Right? You will calculate it. 1001 is uh, whole square it will be. That will be answer. So, now the next question is question number 2. So, the next question is find the sum of sum of all natural numbers all natural numbers lying between lying between 102 and 1000 1000 which are multiple of which are multiple of 5 multiple of 5 so between lying between 100 and 1000 so, as per this, uh, solution can be obtained as 105. First number must be 105 because between and between means 100 is not included. Multiple of 5 will be 105. It is easy to analyze. There is uh, no uh, rocket science in that. And uh, definitely multiple of 5 after 105 is 110, 115 and so on. Last term just before 1000 is 995. So, here the first term is given and first term is what first term is 105, D is 5, last term that is Tn is 995. Using the formula you will be able to find it since Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D that is Tn, this is 995. So, here we can put here 105 plus n minus 1 into 5, this is 995. So, that means here 5 n and 5 into minus 1 is minus 5, 105 minus 5 is 100. So, that would be 100 is equal to 995 and 5 n is equal to therefore 5 n is equal to 895 and therefore n is equal to what we 
will happen 895 divided by 5 is 179 right now 895 divided by 5 is 179 right now so this is n is there now sum so required sum is n by 2 first term plus last term and therefore we can put here 179 by 2 first term is 105 last term is 995 and therefore it will be 179 by 2 into this will be uh, 1100 so 179 95 multiply by 500 179 multiply by 500 and what will happen 179 into 550 and that will be <coughs> because 179 and this is 1100 divided by 2 is 550 so it will be that is 98450 so let us uh, solve question number 3 and question number 3 is there that uh, in an AP in an AP the first term is 2, the first term is 2 and the sum of first term, first 5 term and the sum of first 5 term, 5 terms is 1 fourth of the next 5 terms, is 1 fourth of next five terms next five terms so that 20th term so that 20th term term is minus 112 okay so to solve this question let us start this how to deal with the solutions and solution is first term is here given a is 2 first term is a that is 2 and sum of first 5 term is equal to 1 fourth of sum of first 10 terms minus sum of first 5 terms that is 6 to 10 next 5 can be obtained by 6 7 8 9 10 so if you have uh, can calculate the sum of first 10 term and out of that if you will subtract the sum of first 5 term then you will get the sum of next 5 term so this is a question so as per this you can calculate it like 4s5 is equal to s10 s10 minus s5 isn't it so therefore what will happen that is s10 this S5 will come this side. So 5 times of S5 is equal to S10. As per this, uh, we can write the formula for this. Sum of first 5 term is 5 by 2, 2A plus 5 minus 1 into D. D we do not know what is D. And here sum of first 10 term is 10 by 2, 2A plus 10 minus 1 into D. That is not given here a is known but we will write here that is 25 by 2 or even 2 to cancel out we can cancel 5 to the 10 that is possible and let make it simpler why should i write like this now this is a 5 times of a is given 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 plus 4 d right now is equal to 2 times of 2 into 2 is 4 plus 9 d and that will come up here 5 4 yeah, 20 plus 6 20 d 20 plus 20 d 20 plus 20 d is equal to here a 2 to ja 4 this is 4 now so it will be 4 to ja 8 8 plus 9 d 9 d is 9 to ja 18 d so that is d basically this looks like 96 let me write 20 so this is 90 18d 20d minus 18d is what 2d which is 2d is equal to 
18, 8 minus 20, 8 minus 20 is minus 12 and therefore d is equal to minus 6. d is minus 6. Now we have to write 20th term. So d 20 is equal to, you know, a plus n minus 1 into d that is 20th term is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and therefore uh, 20th term in place of n this employee d20 is equal to h2 and 20 minus 1 that is 19 and d is minus 6 so 2 plus 114 with negative sign and uh, this will be minus 112 and that is answer so i hope you got it now the next question question number 4 and question number 4 is there that how many terms of the AP, how many terms of the AP, how many terms of the AP minus 6, right? Minus 6 minus 11 by 2 minus 5, like this, are needed to give some minus 25, are needed, needed to give some give some minus 25 give some minus 25 how many terms it means i have to calculate the number of terms so number of terms n is to be calculated what is here in solution you can see that a is minus 6 and d h t2 minus t1 so 11 by 2 minus minus 6 that is minus 11 by 2 plus 6 is 1 by 2 and now the sum is s n is given s n is given minus 25 right so <coughs> minus 25 so we will write the formula the s n is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to minus 25 and therefore which we think here that n h we do not know n, that we have to calculate and 2 into minus 6 is minus 12 n is not known so n minus 1 but d is half so what is that that is equal to minus 25 so we can write here like uh, n by 2 into this is minus 12 plus 1 by 2 n minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 25 and that will come here that n by 2 and minus into 1 by 2 n minus 25 by 2 is equal to minus 25 so 2 can be taken LCM and that will come up here like n into n minus 25 is equal to minus 100 because two, 1 by 2 can be taken common so it will be 4 and 4 multiplied with this side it will be 100. So n into n minus 25 is the things comes here that n into n minus 25 n minus 25 is equal to minus 100 that is n square minus 25 n plus 100 is equal to 0 so that can be n minus 5 and n minus 20 is equal to 0 and therefore n is equal to either 5 or n is equal to 20 there are two answers right so both of them are possible one times when since sequence is decreasing negative terms are there so adding the negative terms the sum will be minus 25 and again if we proceeding the same sequence for up to 20th term then many terms are there negative and some terms are positive then positive terms minus negative terms will also give again the sum minus 25 so this both of the answers are possible and you can write uh, both the answers here right next question is there and question number five and question number five is given that in an ap in an ap if pth term is one by q if pth term is one by 
is 1 by q and qth term is 1 by p and qth term is 1 by p qth term is 1 by p ps term is 1 by q and qth term is 1 by p now uh, prove that the sum of p plus qth term prove that the sum of p qth term first pq terms is 1 by 2 pq plus 1 pq plus 1 where p is not equal to q where p is not equal to q p is not equal to q so let us write here solution pH term since pH term let a be the first term a be the first term and d be the common difference and d be the common difference of a p common difference of an a p right then pH term is t p is equal to 1 by q it is given that t p is equal to 1 by q this employee a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to 1 by q this is the first equation now qh term is 1 by p qh term is 1 by p this employee a plus q minus 1 into d is equal to 1 by p if you subtract these two you will get here minus plus minus minus and minus so if you subtract this you will get it minus minus and this minus one will be plus so a a cancel p minus q is left one one also cancel into d is equal to one by q minus one by p therefore d is equal to what this will be p minus q upon pq and this p minus q will come this side it will divide so this this cancels so that will be one by p now from first, from first, a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to 1 by q. This employee a plus p minus 1 into 1 by pq is equal to 1 by q and which will come up a is equal to plus p my into 1 by q is 1 by q minus 1 by pq is equal to 1 by q these two are cancels and this employee a is equal to 1 by pq now sum of sum of first pq terms is given by pq by 2 into 2a plus pq minus 1 into d as per the formula and therefore we will write here that will be pq by 2 into 2a a is 1 by pq plus pq minus 1 into 1 by pq d is also 1 by pq which will come 1 by 2 pq and 2 by pq minus 1 by pq is 1 by pq and this pq multiply by pq is 1 right now so 2 by pq minus 1 by pq is pq by 1 by pq plus 1 if you multiply this it will be pq plus 1 and that is answer that you have to prove it so the next question is here and the question is like uh, question number 6 and the question number 6 is there 6 is if the sum of certain number of terms if the sum of certain number of terms certain number of terms sum of certain number of terms of a p of an a p 25 22 19 age 116 find the last term find the last term this is the question okay so here uh, clearly the first term is here, solution solution clearly 
clearly here age age 25 d is 22 minus 25 age minus 3 and sn is given 160 now apply the formula so whenever we will apply the formula n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 116 this employee n by 2 and 2a age 25 plus n minus 1 into d age minus 3 and that is equal to 160 so that will be n by 2 50 minus 3n plus 3 is equal to 116 so it will be n into this is 50 plus 3 53 minus 3n is equal to 232 2 will come this side it will multiply now the thing is comes like 53n minus 3n square is equal to 232 that will be 3n square minus 53n minus 53n plus 232 is equal to 0. So splitting middle term this will be 696 and 696 can have factor uh, 116 into 6 and then 58 then 29 into 24 okay so that will come 29 into 24 so you'll write 29 n minus 24 n plus 232 is equal to 0 this will be if i'll take common n then this will be 3 n minus 29 and if uh, 8 is being taken common that, uh, next step here if i'll take n common then this will be 3n minus 29 and if i take 8 common then that will be 3n minus 29 is equal to 0. So here uh, either n minus 8 or 3n minus 29 is equal to 0. So n is either 8 or 29 by 3. n is 8 since n cannot be 29 by 3. n cannot be fraction since n cannot be fraction fraction so we can write here n cannot be fraction right so we can have like this n is equal to 8 so how many terms is required that is the question and the question answer is find the last term here we have to find the last term. last term is tn term therefore last term tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is t8 is equal to age what age already given there age 25 d is minus 3 so we we'll write 25 plus 8 minus 1 is 7 and d is minus 3 so that is 25 minus 21 which is 4 so i hope you got it right okay now let us uh, solve question number 7 and what is that try to understand question number 7 is there and uh, this question find the sum of first sum to n terms find the sum to n terms right n terms of an ap of an ap Which kth term, which kth term is given as kth term is 5k plus 1. So, how to write the solution of this sum of first n term is to be calculated? We can do it like solution tk, kth term is 5k plus 1. So, clearly, when put k is equal to 1, 2, 3 k is equal to 1, 2, 3 like that. So we can have first term is equal to first term that is a will come here 5 into 1, 5 plus 1, 6. And second term will come here 5 into 2, 5 to 10 plus 1, 11. Third term is there 
5 into 3 plus 160 like that. So here uh, A is 6 and D is 4. D is so therefore D is here D is T2 minus T1 that is 11 minus 6 is 5. Now we have to find sum of first income. So sum of first income can be obtained as therefore SN is equal to N by 2 2A plus N minus 1 into B. So that will be N by 2 and 2A 2 into A is 6 plus N minus 1 and D is 5. So we can do that N by 2 12 plus 5N minus 5 that will be N by 2 5N plus 7 and that will be answer of this question. Now let us solve question number 8 and it is given that if the sum of the sum of n terms of an AP n terms of an AP is given here is Pn plus Qn square is Pn plus Qn square Qn square where P and Q are constants, where P and Q are constants, find common difference, common difference of a, difference of an a, right, this is what, so here SN is given, try to understand, SN is given and SN is solution sn is given here sn is pn plus qn square that is sum of first n terms we can have sn minus 1 that is sum of n minus 1 terms so where is there is an n we can put n minus 1 plus qn minus 1 whole square and what is tn tn is last term that can be obtained since tn is a sense sum of first n terms minus sum of first n minus 1 terms so we can use it here pn plus qn square minus p times of n minus 1 plus q times of n minus 1 whole square so that will come up here <coughs> as pn plus qn square minus pn plus p minus q times of n square minus 2n plus 1 because of this negative sign that will is plus minus minus now this will be pn and pn cancel and this would be p plus qn square minus qn square plus 2nq minus q so this two are cancels and now it will be P times of P plus 2N minus 1 into Q. This is what? This is T N term. We have to find common difference. So similarly, uh, here T1 is what? If we put T1, then it will be P plus Q. T2 is what? P plus 3Q. T3 is what? P plus T3 will be also similarly T3 is P plus 5Q. So here uh, like that and therefore D is equal to T2 minus T1 that is P plus 3Q minus P plus Q. The answer is 2Q. Answer. Alternatively one can do uh, like this also. There is some other method in which one can deal with and this one alternative method can be obtained also. What is that? Pn is given P plus 2n minus 1 into Q and Tn minus 1 is P plus in place of n we can write n minus 1. So that will be 2n minus 3 into Q. And now D is equal to Tn minus Tn minus 1. So that can be written as P plus 2n if you subtract these two you will get 2q right 
because P P cancel and two n minus two n cancel minus one plus two that will be two. So here you can write answer directly two. That will be the answer. So this is the alternate method. You can do like this also and this one also. Both of them are correct. You can do any one of them. So I hope uh, you got it right now and uh, you have learned all these things how to deal with all and uh, I think this will be more than enough to for this lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will discuss some more questions after the break. Thank you.